The majority of South African clay brick makers use the hack lining technique for drying freshly extruded wet green bricks. There are some major cost and logistical implications that we wish to shed some light on. Because hack line drying uses natural elements like the sun and wind to dry the clay bricks, there is no need for additional energy or complicated machinery in the process. But hack line drying requires large level areas for packing the wet green bricks. These areas need to be carefully maintained and kept dust free on a continuous basis. This means each factory needs to operate expensive vehicles like graders, loaders, dumper trucks and water trucks to keep these areas in check. A lot of handling by labour force and vehicles are needed for loading and unloading in the hack line process. This commonly results in large amounts of handling waste and brick breakage. Large numbers of green bricks need to be stacked in the hack lines at any one time. A large labour force is also needed for successful hack line operations. This process requires pallets, plastic sheeting and plastic netting. These need to be replaced on a regular basis. Natural drying is a slow drying process and bricks can be in hack lines for up to four weeks or longer. This means the process is at risk to damage by adverse weather conditions. The moisture contents in dry bricks after natural drying is relatively high compared to most fixed dryers. This often results in higher fired waste caused by shattered bricks in the kilns. These aspects of hack line operations have large cost implications. Although there are no fuel costs involved with a hack line operation, the operational costs of hack lining must be weighed up against the fuel saving costs. Raw materials and labour contribute to the cost of hack lining and how cost effective the operation is. Surma Lab was commissioned by Swiss Contract to conduct field research and produce an overview of the costs involved when utilising hack line drying from four different factories in the Gauteng and Limpopo areas. The research concluded that the process of hack lining is expensive. These costs impact the factory's bottom line. These costs are broken down into pallets, brick covers and straps, pallet netting, block poles, bricks, ending waste, total vehicle cost, hack line labor cost, and other costs. When we look at the totals, these costs are large, but not as large as the risks associated to these costs. When it comes down to the actual product, the numbers can be a bit more alarming. There are 7.5 million, 14 million, 2.4 million and 12.5 million bricks per factory sitting in hack lines at any one time. This equates to some serious numbers and related risk. When we look at the annual saleable production volumes, the numbers speak for themselves. You do the math. Considering that 68% of the clay brick makers across the country use hack lining as a production method, it is essential that a more cost-effective method that is researched and presented, a solution that is less risk-averse and more sustainable for the clay brick industry as a whole. Please feel free to download the full report for the detailed findings from claybrick.org. Thank you for watching.